Alright, they're running stress off from here. Huh? Sorry about that. Let's zoom in. Don't no wanna. I'm twenty unit going to the cross street again. That really was strange too. So anyway, it snowed. It snowed heavy. This is all snow from last night. This is all last night. From I want to say like five o'clock last night is when it started actually turning into snow because it was rain. All the snow had melted away because it was 50 degrees and rained. Pretty much almost all snow was gone. At least residentially wise. Where, unless it was a really big pile. And as you can see James trying to snowblower for the like third or fourth time this year actually. So that, that's something the snowblower. We've done that before. We've been using it a lot more this year. Uh, a little more heavier snowfalls a couple of times so we've been using it more. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, get the wind behind me and then the, the whiff of gasoline from that start. Woo! And the exhaust. Oh my god. Woo! I cannot like breathe that kind of stuff. It like kills me. Like suffocating on it. I just can't. I don't know why, I just can't. So anyway, it there it's like a good like probably like six inches or so. There's some drifts and stuff too, because as you can see, this is where the car was. You guys have not been able to see a thing. Sorry. Should be paying that more. Oh my god. What? But anyway, this stuff back here, this, I'll pull up. That's a drift. Oh my. That smoke is really killing me, and I'm not even near it. Woo. But anyway, we got everything to do, so. Uh, we didn't go out last night as we usually do. I don't know why, we just didn't feel like it. So, yeah, I gotta make sure these hydrants are clear and out and accessible. Which they should be, they don't look like they're not. And we got the driveways to do sidewalks, we got just about everything to do, so we'll get to it. And uh, it's like 8.30, getting close to 9 in the morning here, so we're gonna get going. James has already started. This is what he usually does. He steals it from me and just gets going right away. First, usually, first he starts swimming the driveway. Although, first priority when you're snow blowing, seriously, is sidewalks, not not your own driveway. But, like if you're doing neighbors like this, make your path out and then do all the sidewalks. And then do work your kind of work the way back. With Byways all of when we go that way. We do everything down there, so we don't have to backtrack. Right? You gotta make this plan this out accordingly. You see, you go straight to the driveway. Sidewalk. High, higher priority than your driveway. Especially when you're doing other people's driveways. Doing your own is not a high priority. Especially since I know this car is not gonna be back here till 3 o'clock. 3, 3.34. It's not gonna be back until then. Although I don't think anyone else is going anywhere. Although I think if they were going anywhere, they, because she works super early, she leaves. She starts work at like 5 or 6 in the morning, so she would have been gone by now. Uh, she doesn't really go anywhere, especially not in this condition, she wouldn't go anywhere. They clearly aren't going anywhere because their cars are still in the driveway. And then the other house, we don't do the driveway, the neighbor that has a plow that does it. Just him and the other neighbor across the street, like the fuck their cars in the driveway. Over there. So, and my fingers are freezing from those two seconds I took the gloves off to film that Twin City unit. My god, I still can't feel my fingers again. So, yeah, I'll probably try and give you guys an accurate snow total or whatever news say we get, whatever their findings are. Probably go with Channel 4 because Channel 4 is. Couple miles down the road, that way, the the closest and would be the most accurate, other than me taking my own measurements. I don't know why I came up past this because there's nothing really up here except for that which you can get when you come back up. I don't know what he's doing, he's doing that backwards. Of course, I would have went straight for the sidewalk. Sidewalk. And then I can steal it, do this, go down there, do it. Oh, they're 
their cars in the driveway, so you only get a pathway up the one side of their cars, and then you kind of got to shovel out the rest. I don't think I can make it around this truck and do their little pathway up to the front door. I'll probably gonna have to go just do that one way off, and then the rest of the stuff's got to get shoveled out, and then it can get blown over. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We got another neighbor out there. They did theirs already. I'm, I'm assuming they did her sidewalk. They usually do it. Well, the fence is so deep, there's not much for me to do except for just stand here like an idiot and film it. That's right. Wonderful commentary as I freeze my face off. I don't know if you saw what James has got something on his face. I really don't even know what the hell it is. I don't have anything, I'm just standing here. I'm pretty sure I've told him this before too, about how your own property to do that. Oh my. How that's not an important. I've told him this before and he still doesn't listen. He always does Irish first. All done. Sorry about it cutting off earlier. That. Ooh. Sorry about that too. Put my glove on. And it uh, froze. The camera froze. Oh, it said battery exhausted. When it's not, it, it says that when it freezes. This happened to me once before earlier in the year when I was filming a traffic accident down the, down the street there. But anyway, this is all clear. Although, the guy from the three doors down from there, he. Did one path up here and then turn around and he also plowed out that end of the driveway. Which was weird because he never, A, snow blows in the first place really, or B, comes past that second house and comes down here. And then turns around and go back up. Go back up. Their cars are still in the driveway so some of their point will probably come back out when they move their, when the trucks get moved and they clear out the rest of the driveway. So, yeah, as you can see, there's like nothing here. And then it's all kind of drifted and blown over there. Did everything else. All three tote paths. Tote paths. All done. Corners clear. Driveways all done. Everything's done. Pretty much it all with the snowblower. Then, you know, you gotta go back through with the shovel and clean it up. You can't just snow blow it and be done. That's not how it's done. That just looks like crap. You gotta go back through with the shovel because you know, your tire tracks and stuff. And especially with that snowblower, too, it kind of likes to ride up a little bit and then ride at the top of the snow instead of staying on the ground. Not having that problem down there. It's really down there really is where I was having that problem with riding up and over. So yeah. Well that's all been done. Nobody came out and paid us. We'll get paid when we see in the next day or two. This I gotta I have to throw some rocks all down here. It's it really isn't icy, which I'm surprised because it snowed or not snowed rained for like two three hours then it was ice for a, like half hour hour and then it all turned to snow so i'm surprised this isn't it's not super icy then i figured it would be because the awning it drips right there that's always super icy that's not new that's nothing new we got snow blowed everything this is all nice and wide a sidewalk over here it's usually not never this wide because sometimes go a little over like you know, kind of on the first couple of times you want to go out wider than you need to because eventually it starts shrinking. It starts shrinking, at least with us. It always starts to shrink because you kind of get a little lazier and a little lazier. So it starts shrinking, so you want to start out wide. I mean, it's nice we had a clean slate, you know, because especially like down there, that was a huge mound. And there would have been nowhere to put that snow. We would have had to like just bring it back and put it over this way. So it's good that everything melted for the Kind of we're running out of space in a few spots. We're running out of places to put the snow so you can see the ice. So, yeah, that's really it. A little update on James' the shovel. That metal part's completely garbage. That's got to take that off. Actually, not at this point. Actually, I'm going to go back there and clean that up. James didn't do that. 
open the gate up, clear out back there for the dogs, make sure the direct event stuff's clear. Oh, I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna be done. So, for now, I'll see you guys later. Actually, this is gonna get uploaded right away because I have nothing else to do, nothing else to upload this Saturday. So, right before Martin Luther King Day. So, 